Hi everyone, I'm James Bobo Fay. This is my compadre, Matt Moneymaker. We're out here going for a hike in the woods and there's been some uh, urban legends going around about Bigfoot. You know, gotta stay safe enough. I, I brought a gun, I don't really know if I believe him, but we'll go check it out, see what's going on. And uh, you know, being Matt Moneymaker over here, I've been searching all my life for the Moneymaker, AKA Bigfoot. That's what we're up here to do today. Uh, we've heard a lot of urban legends going around. As recently as two months ago, uh, Mrs. Smith, local neighbor, uh, her dog Rover was taken away by an alleged Bigfoot. And uh, we're gonna make everything right for Mrs. Smith. So that's what we're up here to do. We'll see how it goes. Four investigators, hundreds of sightings, two big feet, finding Bigfoot. So they've called me in for reinforcements, try and get some eyes in the sky. I've got a helicopter. We'll see if we can find Bigfoot. This track is huge. Look at that. So much bigger than my foot. One would say, that's a big foot. Hey, welcome back to the Matt Moneymaker Daily Vlog here. <laughs> Robbie Anderson, 23 yard touchdown. How do you feel? Jets up 7 0 right now. Oh. Let's go. Represent. Let's go. The urban legend came out that there was a man on the lake fishing and just across the lake, I'd say about 200, 250 yards, he spotted what he assumed was a Bigfoot, a big bipedal animal. Too big to be a human, too hairy to be a human, unless they have some, uh, you know, Turkish guys out here. But um, he's making obscene gestures, you know, like jerking his Johnny in front of the camera, you know, just trying to get his attention, throwing rocks at him, all that crap. So, so you're saying this, this alleged man got this Bigfoot on camera? He did, yeah, he, you know, he was jerking his Johnny, you know. I don't know, maybe he was aroused by it. It could have been their mating season, but Anybody that's why I got this gun. This was the lake that this alleged legend happened in. That's where, you know, the footage is very unclear. You know, like most Bigfoot videos, they're very elusive animals. Don't want to be spotted. But uh, this one was a little uh, temperamental from what it sounded like, a little territorial. You know, didn't like the guy fishing in his area, stealing all the salmon. And he just tried to, you know, tell him to fuck off. It appears that we've approached the lake. What do you have to say about that trails expert, money maker? Well, you know, I see no tracks up here in the snow right now. So, my expertise, I'd say, no chance of Bigfoot so far. But, we have had a recent sighting across this lake here with a couple fishermen out here. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna keep trying. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, this is you know, it doesn't look like we're the my trusty, here as my well. trusty lad here. Looks like there were some other people trying to, you know, get Bigfoot out of here, maybe uh, burn down their home. I heard they were trying to torch down Bigfoot for Mrs. Smith. Really? For yeah. Mrs. Smith, huh? Exactly. In her honor? In, In her honor. dog's honor. Well, didn't she hear? I what? forgot to mention before, but uh, Mrs. Smith, yeah. the weirdest part of the story wasn't actually Bigfoot walking off with her dog. Bigfoot was yanking his Johnny. Oh, no. While he walked off. In front of him? In front, In front of Mrs. Of Smith? Oh, kind of like no. taunting her, you know, just like this yeah, is my he's dog now. Asserting his dominance over the exactly. dog, and you know his claim to fame. Exactly. So we need to find. Bigfoot's a fucking pervert. We need to find this Bigfoot. Yeah. So it seems we've come across the lake where uh, Bigfoot was observed making some territorial gestures. Um, it is their mating season right now, so we're gonna try and lure them in. We're gonna continue down the path, see if we find anything, you know, maybe any tracks, uh, feces, hair, any of that sort of stuff. So come along. spotted by humans. Also get some deer in there. Sometimes they like to go by the lake. Uh, see what's going on there. I 
think we got a squatch on our hands. Look at this. Maybe a young one, I'd say a 300 pounder. Seven and a half feet, maybe seven and a quarter. Uh, it's quite an impressive poop, you know. It looks pretty fresh. I'd say it was here maybe four to six hours ago, but you know, this lake might be his home. He feels safe up here, so. Good idea. Oh yeah, there's some corn in there. You know, he's been eating healthy. He's on that paleo diet, from what it looks like. I don't see any deer, you know, bones in there. So maybe he's just eating berries and stuff as well. The Bigfoot might be vegan at this point. So, so that debunked the legend of the lady and her dog. Who knows? You never know what you'll see up in these woods. Probably take a full grown Bigfoot about two days to cut this down himself, you know? They're strong. A lot of wood knocks, that thing's going down. You know, he can move it up across the trail so no one crosses as well. I'd say they're, they're pretty innovative, you know, despite their uh, primitive features. I'd say you're right. So it looks like we're uh, coming upon Bigfoot's territory. It's getting a little stinky in here, you know? We've seen some crazy things, a lot of trees chopped down, you know? That's definite signs of a Sasquatch. And uh, we're going to see what happens. You think the dog's hot on the trail? Uh, I think she's definitely hot on the trail or something. Hopefully big foot. So we seem to be approaching the vantage point where uh, Bigfoot was recently sighted, you know. Making obscene gestures across the lake. Quite a despicable act, you know. It's 2019 Bigfoot. You know, can't be doing stuff like that. But... Bobo, we'll see what's going on. Okay. Let's see what. So, Bobo, what happened uh, when the fisherman encountered Bigfoot? Well, he was just turned off by the gesture and was pretty scared, booked it out of here. Claims he had some rocks thrown in him at the way out, you know, making some sounds just defending their territory, but to this day, he claims it was a Bigfoot and he thinks there were more of them. He made too. it out okay? He made it out alright, but he was. Definitely a little frightened, hasn't been in the woods since then. His mind was a little scarred too? For sure, you know, it's a lot of emotional trauma, huh? For sure. Look at the size of this log you cut down, just so we could sit on it. We're talking about big animals. Seems like he's developed the knowledge of fire, because this resembles a nice fire pit. Oh my god. He might be Bobo, smarter Bobo. than we think. Bobo, we've got a chair. We might not go enough firepower with us. Oh no, he's an alcoholic. He's raging alcohol. Well, that test might be a little. Bigfoot is a legend. Bigfoot is a legend. Bigfoot is a legend. You know, since we're here, it's pretty dangerous up here. You know, the Bigfoots probably won't like that we're in their territory. And the best way to disguise ourselves is with, you know, some natural uh, urine. Now I'm smelling good, like a like a big old Bigfoot. You need some? Money maker? I mean, I might as well. This is my urine, so I might as well, you know, oh, okay. give me a little... I was wondering why it was so stinky. You got some asparagus in there? In your little, diet? A little bit, you know. A little steak, a little butter, a little asparagus. Okay. Gotta keep it lean. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh... Now we're here. I don't know, you want to try calling out for Bigfoot or what? The best thing I could do is... You know, make a female Bigfoot call. It's their mating season, and uh, you know, maybe get them a little riled up. See if we get any action across the lake where uh, the fisherman saw one. Go for it, Bobo. Okay. It wasn't an echo. I think there's one out here. 
That, that could be the money maker. So I got my friend Skip Skipper out here. He actually has a uh, remote control helicopter. You know, we're gonna get it up there in the skies, see if we can see anything. Those howls were quite disturbing. I didn't think they'd be so uh, territorial and uh, aggressive this time of the year, but look at that. They're angry. It looks like Bigfoot's out there throwing uh, logs across the lake. But you can't see much yet. They're probably hiding up in the, the cliffs and the buffs, but. I think we're gonna have to get some eyes in the sky. Feedback that it sees something. Oh wow. Times like these you gotta come prepared. That's why I'm glad I'm friends with Skip. So I'm gonna make another call across the pond. <laughs> He's an angry squash. The dog's going crazy. We're in his territory. You know, he doesn't like it out here. I can't really see him right now, but I'm sure he's across the pond. Looks like he came down from the cliff. I'll have to see what we're doing. Call from again. There he is, there he is. He's moving. He, he's jerking his Johnny. What is he doing over there? Just like the fisherman story. <laughs> you might think I'm a bait. We masked ourselves with that set. So after those calls, you know, we're going to crawl across the lake and see if we can locate this Sasquatch. Uh, you know, the story with Mrs. Smith's dog is a tragedy and just, you know, it's 2019 again. Bigfoot shouldn't be displaying those despicable acts of just, you know, territorialism and Machiavelliism. So, let's go get him. I don't know about the Machiavelliism, what, what that was about, but I'm ready. And uh, we're going to go catch us Bigfoot today. So this is a you know a pivotal moment of my life. I've been looking for him for the past uh, 15 years, really, ever since I could walk and talk. And it's just astonishing to really see they're up here in the woods of Tuxedo. You've heard the stories, you've heard the legends, but you know, first-hand experience. So I can say they're out here now. Let him go. He's got the best shot of the best cardio out of all of us, anyway. Good luck, money maker. She knows something's up. She can smell it. Look at her running. She's got the scent on. Thanks for just tuning in to Matt Moneymaker's vlog. We're uh, gonna go catch ourselves a Bigfoot here, eh? Uh, you know, gotta be honest, I'm a little scared after how loud the Bigfoot was. But uh, he really didn't look as big as uh, you'd think a Bigfoot would be. So this could be a baby Bigfoot. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. There he is. Holy. Is he trying to intimidate me right now? What is that? Hey! Hey! I got you now, please. Yeah! <laughs> Boys, I got him. No way! You gotta come check this out. You won't believe what I just shot. Where? Right over here. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Oh my look gosh. Look at this Bigfoot. In all my years of Bigfoot hunting, I never thought I'd see one like this. He's kind of smaller. Look at him. Yeah, he's probably five and a half, six foot. I'd say he's a prepubescent Sasquatch, definitely male, you know. That would explain the obscene gestures, you know. He's just getting older, you know, trying to explore Absolutely. a little. Absolutely. I'm going to guess he doesn't have a mate in the area if he's so aggressive, though. Honestly, I kind of feel a little bad about shooting him now, you know? Yeah, you know. Like, what if he never he actually... He was terrorizing Mrs. Smith and her He dog. might have never had a first love, you oh, know? That's awful. So we're going to look at his body. He's got a nice coat on him. You know, this is thick fur, man. As I said earlier, he's aggressively average. I actually think that's micro think? penis what status. Think, girl? Yeah, he's got a thick coat. I mean, Sasquatches tend to be a little lighter. You're right. It's almost kind of like, would you say kind of like gorilla fur? Almost? I'd say so. I mean, I, I'm i not too sure this is a Bigfoot, actually. No. I've, I'm having some doubts right now. Like you think aren't, aren't gorillas endangered as well? Did we just kill an endangered species? The government would be all over us for this shit. Come on now. Fuck. Fuck. Maybe Bigfoots aren't real. It was just a gorilla this whole fucking time. Where do you think oh. he came from? The zoo? I guess so. I where, mean, where are we getting the gorilla? We're not too far here. from the Bronx Zoo. Maybe uh, he got out of there. Well, you think he just ran a full on marathon out here? Yeah, 
I don't know. They're a little stealthy. Maybe he hopped in like a truck or something. Dude, found, what, found the what woods. Are we gonna, we're gonna have to bury this now. I'm wondering now. what he was eating. Dude, the, le the legalities. What, what are we gonna do with this? We should just leave him. Leave. Yeah, we definitely gotta be stealthy. You know, I don't know about leaving him on the path. Maybe throw him down the ditch. Come here, know? Bailey. Bailey, what should we do with him? Maybe we should. Maybe we should give him to the dog. You know, have nice meat. I'd Cover up all our tracks. That would be a big meal, Bobo. Yeah, we could him in the fridge, you know, pretend like it's a deer. I like that idea. Cut we just up? feed it to the dog. Yeah, fill him. We'll feed him to the dog.